Hey guys, um, in this video here, I'm just going to do something pretty simple. Uh, we're going to create an object using Salesforce.com platform. So here I am. I'm on Salesforce.com. I'm already logged in. And I'm just going to click the setup. So that brought us to this page here that you see. And there's a few of my recent items that I've done uh, before. But we're going to go down to uh, create. And then we're going to go and click on objects here. And these are uh, the custom objects I've already built before. So I'm just going to go ahead and click new custom object. And we want to give it a label name. So um, maybe you want the object name to be, uh, let's go with Star Wars. Okay, and then we need a plural label, so we'll call it Star Wars. And a description for this object um, contains uh, information on Star Wars characters. Okay, and we can keep everything else as is. The record name will be Star Wars name, and that um, th that record name, its data type will be a text. So we can change it to an auto number. But I'm gonna keep it a text, and we can keep everything here just like it is. And we'll click save. Okay, and now we have our new custom object. And our custom object is called Star Wars with an API name of Star Wars underscore, I mean, Star underscore Wars underscore underscore C. And we use that for programming purposes. But you can see here that uh, we have a few standard fields. And then we can create some custom fields and relationships. We can create related lookups um, and filters, uh, validation rules, triggers. So all these things we can add on to our custom object. So I'm going to go ahead and add a uh, new field here. Something that we want to keep a track of for Star Wars. And uh, one good one uh, of Star Wars characters, we want their, uh, their name. So the name would be a text data type. So I just click text and I want to click next. And let's see, um, I guess character name would be a good label for it. So we can get the name of the character. And I don't believe any character in Star Wars has a name longer than 10, but I could be wrong. And here we're going to give a little description for the new custom field. I'm going to say the name of the Star Wars character. And some help text. Uh, please enter characters no longer than 10. Or how about please enter no more than 10 characters. Please enter no more than 10 characters. OK. Uh, always required. Sure, we can make this field um, a required field. We'll keep everything else the same. We'll click next. And I keep these uh, defaults values the way that they are. Because I want this to be, I want this field to be visible for all of these different profiles that I have here to the left. Of course, we can change that. You can make them read only. Um, you can get rid of their, uh, their visibility. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, cl click next. Oh, wait, hold on here. I cannot get rid of their visibility. And I think that's because we made it a required field. So let's go back here. Let's see. I'm going to uncheck this, click next. And now there we go. So um, if, if this was not a required field, then we could change their visibility for each profile, give it read only. Um, things like that. 
So I'm going to go back. I made it a uh, a required field. So let's go ahead and keep it as required. We'll click next. So it has to be visible. Um, go ahead and click next again. And now it's going to uh, create. I'm sorry, it's going to add this field to the page layout that was created when we created the custom object. And that page layout is called Star Wars Layout. So we just click Save. Okay, now we should see it here at the bottom. And we do, we see our new field called Character Name with API name of Character underscore Name underscore underscore C. And it's updated type text uh, with 10 characters. So, well, up to 10 characters. So, thank you all, and I um, hope to see you guys in more videos. And I hope to put some more videos about Salesforce up. See you guys next.